Hello! In this video, I will go over how to calculate the liver iron concentration, or LIC, using PMRI. We will look at two types of data, a multi-echo gradient echo T2 star scan and a multi-echo spin echo T2 scan. Before proceeding, I strongly recommend that you read the following paper. It summarizes the various conversion methods from MRI measured R2 star to LIC and explains the theory as well as the shortcomings of the technique. Let's begin. First, we import a case, either from PAX or local storage. Both of these options are covered in another video. We find the correct study, right-click on the correct series, the multi-echo gradient echo T2 star sequence, and select T2 star liver from the list of options. This particular case has one slice with 12 echo times. We will see during the T2 example that everything works the same way for multi-slice acquisition. Our objective is to calculate the mean R2 star value of the liver and convert it into LIC units. We do this by placing a region of interest inside the liver. The software will do the rest. My preferred way to do this for this type of data is to use an R2 star map. We right click on the image and select the mono exponential R2 star map from the options. This is sometimes referred to as the offset model in the literature. Select the region growing tool by right clicking on the ROI drawing tool or pressing 3 repeatedly on the keyboard. Click on the liver to drop a seed and adjust the threshold as necessary. I prefer this method for liver segmentation because it allows me to easily define the liver boundary as well as exclude vessels only by adjusting the threshold. A more manual approach, which is covered in another video, may be easier for cases with less iron content. While we're here, let's define two more ROIs to get a rough idea of variability in the iron distribution. First, I change my active ROI to 2, and then I select the circular ROI tool and paint over the image. I do the same for the third ROI. At this point, we can save the analysis and generate an LIC report to send to PAX. Let's save the analysis by pressing Ctrl S on the keyboard. You can see the star disappear from the top left corner, signifying that our progress is saved. To generate a report, select Save LIC Results from the File Save menu. Let's go back to the Studies page by pressing Ctrl-1 to review and send the report. There are five DICOM series that were created and associated with this study. Here, we can rename the series as needed as well as adjust the series number before sending the images to PAX. Double-click on any value you want to change, enter a new value, and press Enter. The DICOM files are automatically updated. To send them to PAX, right-click on the selected series and choose your destination from the Export menu. This is covered in greater detail in another video. Even though we're done with the analysis, let's take a closer look at the results. The first series has tabulated values and various plots, including an LIC history chart for this patient. The next series is a color LIC map, followed by a color R2 star map, ROI overlay screenshots, and a grayscale R2 star map. Let's look at each one of these in more detail. First, Let's get back to our analysis by selecting Views, Analysis Page, or pressing Ctrl-3 on the keyboard. Now let's go to the tabulated results by pressing the Page Navigation button twice, or pressing Ctrl-5 on the keyboard. The three columns of numbers correspond to the ROIs we defined earlier in the video. The top row is the mean LIC value in units of milligrams of iron per gram of dry liver tissue. It is obtained by converting the mean R2 star value into LIC units as described in the paper I mentioned at the beginning of this video. You can select several different conversion methods from the LIC settings menu. Here we'll keep it at the default Wood 2005 setting. Next, we have the mean T2 star value in milliseconds, the mean R2 star value, the correlation of the R2 star fit, the volume of the ROI in pixels, and the volume of the ROI in cc's. Next, let's see how the mean R2 star values were calculated. Go to the Curves page by clicking the Page Navigation button twice or press Ctrl-4. Let's switch the plot to Signal Intensity versus Echo Time. The average signal intensities from our three ROIs are plotted against the echo times from the scan. Click the Mono Exponential button to see a visual representation of the nonlinear exponential model fit. You can do the same for the other two models. The different models are listed in the manual. 
Another common model for our two-star liver iron data is the truncation model. We can use the truncation model by first switching to the linear monoexponential model. Next, we turn on weighted fitting and bring up the weight toggles by right-clicking on the weights button. Here, we can toggle various data points on and off. This selection can be subjective. If you decide to use the truncation model for LIC conversion, don't forget to switch to the log model in the LIC settings menu as well after adjusting the weights. For now, let's go back to the default non-weighted non-linear mono-exponential model. Click the LIC history button to display the LIC trend over time for this patient. Any cases that have been analyzed and saved will appear here. The various scan dates have been altered for this video. Let's go back to the analysis page and make an LIC map by right-clicking on the image and selecting LIC. Press C to bring up the color bar and turn off the ROI overlays by dragging the overlay slider down to zero. Alternatively, we can turn the overlays back on and right-click on the window leveling slider to show the map as an overlay. Finally, let's go back to the plots page and switch to histogram view. Select LIC from the drop list to display an LIC histogram. As with any plots in PMRI, pressing Ctrl C will copy the plot data to the clipboard. This is a convenient way to export data into Excel for further analysis. That finishes the R2 star portion of the video. Let's take a quick look at a multi echo spin echo R2 dataset. Let's select the appropriate case and series, right click, and select T2 LIC from the menu. Since this is a multi slice dataset, scrolling with the mouse wheel will change the slice and holding control while scrolling will change the echo time. The steps to analyze the data are the same as before. Let's define our ROIs. For R2 data, I prefer to region grow and threshold the raw data instead of an R2 map like we did with the previous dataset because of the breathing motion artifacts. Let's go slice by slice and region grow. Hold X on the keyboard and use the left mouse button to cut away any extraneous regions. We could do this all at once in 3D, but with this few slices, working on one slice at a time is faster. As before, let's define two other regions. Hit Ctrl S to save the analysis and select Save LIC results from the File Save menu to generate a report. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.